Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lung Pomai, and in this short video, I'll demonstrate how to work with content controls and inline shapes in Word document using VBA. In nutshell, you'll learn how to work with uh, ActiveX objects like combo box, check box, option button, etc. Um, I'm doing this short video because it does not work the same way um, as uh, in the user form. Uh, in our last uh, VBA Word automation video, we learned how to integrate Excel and Word uh, applications. Um, we created a small project to read and write to a Word document uh, using VBA from Excel. We also discussed um, the Word object model and also learned how to read and write to these subjects. Okay, so let's continue in this same Word uh, document. Um, go into Developer tab. If you don't see this, customize your ribbon. Just make sure the Developer tab is checked. Okay, uh, you'll find all the controls, you know, like in this group. Um, so the main difference here, one, you'll see as you hover your mouse, you'll see this is a content control. Similarly, this combo, uh, combo box and list box, yeah? Uh, and then if you go in here, you'll see the legacy forms as well. You can use this as well. Uh, well, you know, like designing your Word document, you can use ActiveX control as well. But the way you refer to them is a little bit different as, you know, like uh, I think these are now coming from the .NET framework. Okay, so uh, that's why the, the way you do this in VSDO as well is going to be exactly the same. Okay, uh, so let's add some of them. Um, so for example, for, I already have the option buttons here, which are from the ActiveX. So for example, if I go in here, so I've added this. Okay. So if I go in there, uh, I can change the caption. For example, I can see others, or, um, I can also change the name or the ID of the control. Um, and then further, uh, we can bring in a text box maybe if you want uh, you can change the properties from here you go in you change the font the border you know and so on those things are pretty much the same uh, similarly let's go on next we can add the checkbox as well uh, the, the, the checkbox this as you hover you'll see this is a checkbox control okay not the content control this is different so let me first add this uh, two of them let me add two checkbox um, okay and then I'll add this checkbox as well uh, let me call this um, content control checkbox one okay you can put a tag as well it'll help you in referring at later stage okay uh, so this is the first tag box you can copy paste as well or you can um, just go back and add again uh, I'll just call this one as two I'll put a unique name and do the tagging as well so we have uh, I think this should be enough uh, you can also add combo box. Um, so if you want to add a combo box, it's pretty simple. Um, just click. Similarly, the list box. If you go in there, you can add. Uh, you know, like maybe um, let's say apple, mango, something like that. Yeah. And then as you design the uh, design mode, if if you exit. You should be able to, you know, go and see those. Okay, now I'll quickly demonstrate how to refer to these controls using VBA. Um, so first will be, um, let's say, this two checkbox. I'm going to my VBA editor. Let's do this fashion. So test one. Um, we can do first with maybe the checkbox. So um, active document, and then you can find this um, content controls by title or by tag tagging as well. Okay, so select uh, content control by tag or by title. Let's do the title first, and then here you can put in the title, and then post that. 
um, will be item and then you pass in the, the index one is fine and then um, um, and then that, that should be it you can directly pass on the method or the you know like the value for example check equal to true or false um, so for this we put in the One second. Uh, checkbox one. So if I design this, uh, exit, and then you see this check, and then if I make this to false, okay. Um, if even if you put the index here, it should work. Uh, or not. Oh, sorry, yeah, that should be string. It, it has to be a string, okay, by title. Uh, otherwise, you can also pass by inline shapes. I think that should work. Let me just give it a shot. Um, so, active document dot inline shapes, and here you can pass on the dot ole format dot uh, object dot value equal to one now i don't know the order of this uh object so it's difficult to pinpoint but this works for sure um i do do okay so it is selected female and three this selecting the third one okay so one goes to this so it's selecting the option buttons okay and um, one quick tip here is if you want to group these option buttons as you can see here like um, you know like these two are grouped but uh, this the one that we added is not so in case you want to group all this together what you can do is uh, basically go to design mode uh bring up the properties and just group them together with a unique name like this okay so for example this one if i once i add the group name one then um and the design mode it should you know like group them together so if i do this now one two three yeah now we can um I think in inline shapes you are not able to specify the name so uh, there there should be a workaround for that I'll quickly demonstrate that as well um, so that's a way to refer to um, the ActiveX ones that we have just tried this one you can use this method for the, uh, I mean for content controls okay Now, if you have to uh, work with this checkbox, text box, uh, you can use um, uh, this this method. But uh, since we are not able to specify the name, then uh, we will have to create a small function in order to achieve that. So let's try the small function. Uh, let's call this. Basically, we'll look through and then I find out the type, and then uh, we'll pass on the parameter to match the name. Okay. So, well, this function um, get control and then here we'll pass on the uh, variable name as string and then this will return us in line shape and then we'll say this is equal to whatever we get later yeah now we'll have to uh, simply just loop through the let's say um, object as inline shape and for each of this uh, in active document. And then uh, we're gonna pass in the condition here. 
So um, the condition is going to be if the type is uh, now for the type there is um, WD inline shaped. Yep, this is the one um, control object inline shapes OLE control object and the second condition we want to check is the name if the name matches so if this um, dot OLE format dot object dot name um, now with the name we want to ensure you know like both are lowercase both the parameter and this code so I'll just do in this fashion. If this is equal to this um, as well in lowercase, okay. Uh, if this is true, then that is the control we want, and here is where we pass on the object. So basically looping through all the inline shapes and then if the you know like the type is this and then we're doing a lowercase of the name uh what whatever name we find um and then if that is same as the parameter then we are just assigning that control and then this will this can basically exit exit function yeah Otherwise, it will return nothing. So I'm just going to leave that as it is for now. And then we can try and refer to these objects now using this function. Because here we can only specify the index and not, um, you know, not the name. Okay, so let's try this test. Now for this one, um, let me save this as, you know. No, this is text box one. So we'll try to get text box one, check box, check box one, check box two. Let's try and refer to these uh, objects, okay? So um, basically to test this, we can say um, dim, um, maybe dim object as inline shape, and then, uh, set or object equal to whatever object we get from here based on the name so first will be box one now if uh you know like it returns something only then we want to assign a value so if uh this is nothing if this if not sorry if not OB is nothing, then we want to, now we're trying for checkbox one, so we'll say, uh, we'll just use the same thing here. OB dot, okay, so if this works, then it's going to find the checkbox and then check it. So it's working. Okay, I just ran it. Now let's try for two. Yeah, this check. So if I do false, yeah. Now um, if I do it for text box one, um, da, 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 da. let's say hello, text box one, hello. Let me quickly recheck this. Yep, it is text box one. Yeah, that was the typo from my end. Um, so yeah, I think that's basically it. Uh, how to refer to this? Um, we already did for uh, uh, content controls to check this. Um, yeah.
and if I do this for two, right? Um, for the labels and all, you can just type, you know, like index, um, index whatever you want, okay? Um, now, lastly, I will quickly demonstrate for combo box as well. Um, here we already added apple, mango, but in case you want to do this programmatically, uh, there's a reference here, um, which we can quickly uh, copy and do it, and then I will show something which is not uh, demonstrated here. So for example, this one, this will create um, on runtime, and then it's going to add all these items. Okay, so let's try that. Um, Let's add create add on runtime. So let me try and do it here. Yeah, so it has added a combo box and then it has named all this. Yep. Yeah. Now um, in case you want to uh, refer to this what value it is currently selected from your code. Then the way to go about will be, um, I think we can just reuse the code from here. By title, and then um, let me just copy this into this module. And we'll say get selected value. Um, and then here, um, we can search by title again. Let me find the title. And then instead of um, dot check, we want to get a value. So it has to be range dot text. Okay, so this should give us um, dot print let's do this so if I run this if it works it should return us dog here yeah now let's try and select snake okay um, now if you want to clear this and re-add uh, new items then uh, let me just replicate this Instead of creating, we'll just clear and add a new items. Maybe I'll just um, maybe I minimize long, and then I'll just put an index. Okay, maybe do and then I'll just remove this. Now to clear, you just follow you know like the same method. Entries dot clear. Um, now instead of uh, here, um, instead of uh, adding, we will just refer to this by in the same way uh, we did up here. Let's put everything in here. No, we do not need this. Um, okay, let me run this. So now the list would reflect two against all the animals. Yeah. If I rerun this, okay, guys, that's going to be all for this video. Uh, if you found the video informative, please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.